Welcome to Cruise Master by Vehicle Component Camper Trailer of the Year. We've brought 25 of Australia's best camper trailers to a beautiful section of northern New South Wales rainforest and recruited the country's most experienced judges to run their eyes over them. Let's see how it goes. Jawa Campers, based in Maroochydore, have been manufacturing cleverly engineered campers for nine years. The Outlander is a tight, nimble little unit that handles like a dream when the going gets tough. Its solid straight through drawbar gives it a large height clearance and it's got ample storage space throughout. The outside lounge area is covered in superior canvas and zips and it sleeps two to four no problem. So we've got this amazing roof rack system that sort of folds down and you can store all your safety uh, gear on top of this, no problem. They've got all these sort of po safety points, winch points here. It's got a, uh, a side entry drawer and a top loading drawer there. You put all your canvas and tent poles in there. The, uh, the back wheels on gas struts, it folds down with one hand. We've got the slide out kitchen area, chunky little gas burner unit here. The slide out fridge area here. And again, the high ride height here. Really sort of superb off-road ability there. Stepping up into the saloon area, we've got loads of storage here under the queen size bed. Beautifully appointed little saloon area. Lots of room, lots of head height, lots of storage, very comfortable. But let's see what the judges have to say. I've got to say there's a number of companies producing forward fold campers out of Queensland and it's actually really good for the market because they're all competing so hard with each other and they're all lifting each other's quality and package prices as well. I particularly liked with the Jawa, they've got a very deep body and that means you can get deeper seats so you get more storage inside. You can leave the awning attached when you pack the thing away. And the Outlander actually has one piece chassis right from the hitch all the way back to the back. And that does a couple of things. It gives me a little bit more confidence in recovery points from the rear if you really need to yank on it. You know that there's not multiple joints that are going to break. It also gives it a very smooth profile if it does need to drag along things. And high ground clearance too, which is just an absolute massive boon, especially when you're in hilly terrain like the Victorian high country. In the outdoor area as well, the awning has like sort of slightly longer sides than most awnings. That awning also comes with walls and floor and the foot, like so you can fully enclose that space if it you know really starts to come in sideways or you want a secure spot for you for your kids to sleep. 200 amp hours of battery, a good sized uh, mains charger to go with it, uh, 200 watt freestanding solar panels, so you'd be comfortable out there you know that you could stay ahead of the game on your electricity. The one thing. For me, it was also the way they've packaged this in their pricing as well. It's $21,990 plus the extra two odd thousand dollars for the fridge, the boat rack and the solar panel as well. Now, to be able to get all that quality in for that price is just terrific. 